Like what, what is what is necessary in order for my brain, my prefrontal cortex to function, to feel this feeling of, and everybody knows that feeling of hyper-focus where you're mm-hmm. like, you're so obsessed with something, you're so interested in it. And so you go all in. So I've realized more so than people who are neurotypical, the neurodivergent brain must do what they love. Not because it's che- like the cheesy quote, like do what you love and it won't be work. I'm like, no, literally you won't have a job you if not. <laughs> Yes. Because if yes. you're not interested in it, you're not showing up. Like you're just like, I'm out. This is silly. I don't want to do this. And so I'm mm-hmm. constantly asking myself, what is the next exciting thing that keeps you up at night? Like that you're so excited about? Because then I can be really great at things. But I'll be honest, the things that don't excite me, I'm not I'm not great at them. And so that's been really frustrating because I find that this selective attention is is just so frustrating to function in this world. So that's when it gets frustrating. But I've played around with a few things. Number one is movement and exercise are a non-negotiable for me. If I can move my body, especially before I work or I have to focus on something, it changes the experience 150%. Movement is medicine. It is the number one thing. I think it's yes. why I was an athlete. I think it's why a lot of ADHD people are athletes is because you, you're moving that energy you're actually moving that excess energy and it's stimulating your brain and it's releasing BDNF, which is brain derived nootropic factor, which is essentially the little tingly feeling of like, Ooh, this feels good. I can focus on this thing. Yeah. (laughs) And and the serotonin, it's like a low dose SSRI. It is. It really is. I know. And that's where I'm like, there's times where I'm sweating and I'm working out and I'm like, Oh my God, this feeling, like if we could bottle it. Oh yeah. They, they have tried to bottle it into stuff, but it is just so, it's, it's inexplicable. It's so good. And it helps me so much. So I try to make that a uh, non-negotiable every day. I'm also really big on my supplementation. So I do a lot of nootropics, which are essentially natural cognitive enhancers. So ginkgo, B6, I don't really play with caffeine, which I know I should, but I notice my body doesn't do well with caffeine, unfortunately, which I'm so bummed about because I feel like it would be such an aid for me, but I, mm-hmm. it just kind of makes me feel anxious and then I can't mm-hmm. sleep. 